Crossword Puzzle Mastery Review. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where I show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP, low content books, printables and digital planners. So today, Ken Bluntman has launched his new puzzle software. This time he has created a crossword puzzle software that actually creates crosswords that are New York Times style and also the British style, such as those that you find in the Telegraph newspapers. These are the most popular type of puzzles. They tend to be the higher end puzzles and the ones that you tend to get a lot more um, return on investment, a lot of money as well. And they're the sort that you can also now be compare, competing with Funster. Now it says software makes it a breeze. It certainly makes it easier than if you were doing it, say, in a spreadsheet but it is not a piece of software that will create you a hundred puzzles in 10 minutes flat. You're going to spend some time actually creating these puzzles. You get full training, which you always do. You get commercial rights and you can publish on Amazon KDP and any other market because you get the commercial rights to these. So Ken is offering the front end. In the front end, you get everything that allows you to make crossword puzzles but he also has an upsell and the upsell is $47 and that comes with extra puzzle packs such as anagrams, word squares, ladder crosswords, every letter counts and mini crosswords as well. Again all the training and everything is included with that. So if you want to check out the sales page which you can see here click on the link down below and you can check out the sales page but let's actually dig into the software so when you first log in you'll actually see a video from ken where he talks about the different types of crosswords he talks about the sort of income that you can estimate what people are making now the top one tends to be funster when it comes to these he has been creating lots of books for many years especially aimed at people like like the more advanced stuff and then these are examples of the new york times sort of puzzles that you can create in this so if we go to the new crossword here it shows you the different ones but what you need to do first and foremost before you start doing anything is actually go through the instruction videos watch them they're very short but they will actually help you get going and creating the different types of puzzles. So if we go back to the new crossword, you'll see that you can select different grid sizes. The 9x9 American, so anything that says American is the New York style type. Anything that says British is like the Telegraph or the Daily Mail type. And you can see the different amounts of words and blocks and the different sizes of grids that you can actually do. So we'll, I'll put the smallest one in to start with. And then we'll just give it a name, an internal name. So a video example, not very original, but anyway. And you can also put theme names in. He does go through about niching it down and things like that but i think that would make it a lot harder to do your first one but it's always a good idea to try and niche down anyway so what we've got here is we've got the video example and now we have got the puzzles now the rules that you have to remember when you are creating your puzzles is that um, there's no words less than three letters and you should not repeat any words in them and with the New York style there is symmetry as well you can see the symmetry here symmetry here symmetry there the way it is laid out now the great example here is what you can do is you count how many letters you want to fill all the big ones first so if you go one two three four five six seven eight there's eight letters but what Ken has actually created is this search function, which is here, which is amazing. What you can do is, instead of going and getting a dictionary and then looking for all the different words and things, all of this is built into this software. 
So now we can look for eight words and we can go show me the words that you've got. Now there's ten and a half thousand words in here and we can start with the letter A or we can zoom all the way down and start with say uh, S. So we can put uh, severely into our crossword so we can go S E V E R hang on let me go back to check my spelling E L Y E L Y and I can save as well so while I'm doing my product project my puzzles and that I can keep saving and I can come back to my puzzle as well so that's the first one. Then we're going to look for another long one. So we've got this here, 12, that actually crosses over. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can either go back here and do for seven words and show me the words. And we can look for anything that start, that's got E as a second letter. So... So we've got things here that we could use, um, like aerials or Arabic, Arabic, aerosol, aerosol. We can either put that in. Yeah. So. So we can do that. So we've got those sorts of crosswords that are coming in. And then we've got another long one here that is also seven letters. So what I want to do is show you another tool. So let's go back. So here we've got, we can put in where we've got question marks and where we've got words. So here we've got blank, 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 letter E, blank, blank, blank. So what we can do here is we can put a question mark for the blanks, E where the, the letter E where that was, and then question marks. And we can say, show me the words. Now here, it'll give me things that are um, either anagrams or abbreviations or like this. This is a Spanish word. So, and you can also click on here and it will give you the clue open in Spanish. So I might use that or a breeze. So let's have a look. Something easy as a pie. So we could have a breeze. And that is how you would go about creating your um, puzzle. So you'd fill all the big words in first and then you would come back and fill in all the smaller words. Sometimes you need to change the words because they don't all fit in. And you also need to write your um, clue here. So aerosol is um, some sort of spray thing. But if you don't know what to write, again, you can go here and use this one here which is getting the clues aerosol show me clues and it will give me some clues a fog or a geese geezer steam antiperspirant type so like a, a deodorant so we can have that word there and then where it says 12 across we can put that in and that is at the beginning of our clues now some of the clues you need to go through and check them and just make sure that they are correct because this is pulling from different places and the clue might not be correct so you just need to make sure that is there so these give you all the words from the dictionaries these this gives you words that can include anagrams abbreviations and also towns cities nouns pronouns all different things like that and then this will help you with your clues. So like I say, everything is built in that allows you to do it. Now, I have created a couple of puzzles or I've started here. So you can see video example. 
I've got 30 clues left to do on that one. 24 clues left on that one to do. In fact, I haven't even started, but I've already finished this one. And I can click on it to actually see what it looks like. And this is the one I've created. I've got all my um, clues in there. I've got everything. I've made sure that I haven't got, you know, um, multiples of the same word because you can't have that. I've made sure that all the um, clues make sense as well. So I can save that and my list of products. I can click save and it'll take me back to that. And now I can download this. Now, what you get is a PNG of the puzzle when it's empty, a PNG of the puzzle when it's full. So if we click download, this should then appear in my folder. And you'll see, if I just make this a little bit bigger, you'll see that it comes with an instructions text edit or text file. And you'll be able to see here the instruction files included is the puzzle empty, ready for a person to use a PNG piles, the puzzle filled with the solution and all the different clues. So if we click on here, you'll see those are the two PNGs that you slot in, but then also the clues are across and down. So they are separate. Okay. And the reason for that is because you may need to change your layout of your puzzle because your clues go a lot longer around. So you've got more control of how you actually create your puzzle book. So you would take both of these, well, all of these files, and you could either put it into PowerPoint, Canva, Affinity Publisher would be great for this, and you could complete this. And like I said, you're not going to create a puzzle in less than 10 minutes. You might, if you're very clever at doing words and things like that, you might be able to just look at a puzzle and go, right, I'll put aardvark down here. And then the next one across will be, I don't know. I'm not good like that. I can do puzzles if I'm looking at clues and things. But like I say, it is the golden standard of actually creating them. So you get all of that for $37, nothing extra that you need to invest in order to be able to create extra puzzles, but there is an upsell for $47. So what do you get in that upsell? You get these more puzzles. So you can go along and create um, anagrams. Again, there's instructions on how the software works. So click here to start a new anagram. And then you've also got a word square. Again, how many do you want to create up to 60? Now these will create lots quickly. If we click go, you'll see that this converts out as a PDF so that you can put that inside any type of activity book or upload to your digital store, whether it be Etsy, Shopify, Payhip or whatever. Ladder crosswords as well, these ones here. So anything to do with words that people like. I often like these small ones here. And then my favourites actually these mini crosswords that are just quick that you can fill in the time with. So that is crossword puzzle mastery. The link will be down in the description for you to go and check it out.